All right. So I was saying I'm from Sarita Care Tech. We are a development house. We develop both software and hardware. And for the last four and a half years, we have been working on a single solution of what we consider the modern day call system. So we've been mentioning this challenge that we are about to meet today a couple of times. And uh, we've been saying how the population increases, the, old, the elderly population increases. But sometimes it's important to look in perspective, what does that actually mean? This is the challenge that we are facing nowadays. This graph here represents the global population growth divided up in different age categories. The bottom three lines being from the age of 0 to 60. And the very steep red line is the population that is above the age of 60 years old. Already today do we see that there is a strain on both human resources of finding qualified caretakers, but also on the institutions. So that is also one of the reasons of why we're gathered here today is because we are all in agreement that the best way to facilitate these elderly would be in their own homes where they also prefer to stay. The other things we are recognizing is that technology is proving to have the potential of helping us alleviating this challenge. But we also need to remember it is not only about the elderly citizens. Without the caregivers, there would not be any elder care. It could be argued that they are playing an even more important role in the whole challenge of elderly caregiving. And thirdly, we also have the administration, the centralized organizations that are facilitating the processes behind caregiving, whether it's a nursing home or whether it's professional home care services. And all of these different market segments they need tools in order to provide a high quality care. But when we look at welfare technology today, unfortunately we see an industry that has had experienced a very conservative technological development. It is only in recent years that we have begun looking across different industries and seeing how we can implement some of the other technologies to create true innovation within elder care and welfare technology. To give you an example, some of the most popular solutions being used today are these. We have four different technologies for four different needs. Technologies that are often working only in the confines of the home or the institution, creating a safety prison of sorts. And if we have an elderly that has all these different needs, they need four different devices to burden themselves with. What also needs to be mentioned is what they do have in common is this industrial gray design, the color of panic red, black. It has contributed to a stigmatization of welfare technology where the elderly are cutting off their bracelets or they're hiding them away uh, if they have the opportunity of not uh, having to wear them. So how do we take this to the next level is what we have been working on. We have defined three fundamental principles of product design. Of course, functionality is on the top. Functionality is what creates the value of the technology. It creates its purpose. But also what is important is the user interface. How are the, these different user groups interacting with the technology? And lastly, the aesthetics. It is fundamentally human to want to have nice things. So the solution that we have developed, it starts off with the user group of the elderly. We call it the Sarita Pearl. It is important to stay hydrated. Please remember to uh, take a sip of water in this warm spring weather. So the Sarita Pearl. This is a call device. This is also the one that I'm wearing right here. And the first thing that you may notice is a heavy emphasis on aesthetics. That's the first thing that you'll see. A jewelry-inspired device with the possibility of user-defined design. Whether you like to have your favorite motive or a picture of your grandchild, the elderly citizen has the choice 
to choose their own design of the device that they're going to be wearing every single day. Functionality-wise, it covers the basic needs to facilitate an independent life at home when it comes to safety. It has the call button to press to call for help, a two-way intercom system to get in direct contact with the elderly to clarify the need, a GPS for the elderly that are still active or may have dementia and a tendency to wander, and lastly, an automatic fall detection system built on machine learning. In short, it means that when the device is being worn on the elderly, it starts to learn their patterns, their behaviors, and uses that data to not only detect fall, but eventually we have a hypothesis that we could go in and start going into prevention. What has to be mentioned is these functions can be turned on and turned off. Not everyone would like to have a GPS on them. Not everybody needs a fall detection. But as elderly are inevitably developing a new need, it is still the same device that they are used to, which they do not perceive any change to, where these functions can be turned on. We've had Easter nowadays. A personal design could also be a season-prone design. Happy Easter, everybody. When we're looking at caregivers and what tools they are using today, if we took the home care, for instance, unfortunately, we have seen that they're only using the call functions of the phone to communicate between each other. And recently, we've been, there has been introduced tablets in an effort to start digitalizing the care process. We have also thought of how we could provide an optimal care tool, taking the design fundamentals into uh, into consideration. And of course, we need to leverage smartphone technology. So as you have a smartphone and the elderly or, and the caregivers are getting used to using smartphones, they need a tool not only to handle calls, but also easily to be able to contact their colleagues, to create automated schedules, to-do lists, so they do not have to keep in mind of what they have to do in the back of their head, but rather they have it all centralized in their pocket. When we're looking at the administration, administrative tools of leaders of these institutions, or maybe up on the municipality levels, we may find systems reminiscent of these. Very complex systems that require training, seminars, a minor degree in order to be able to use them, followed by a heavy manual. But we can make this more pleasant to use. We have created a lighthouse as our administrative system, heavily inspired by social media platforms that are familiar to us, that we are all using every single day, which are adaptable to both tablets and phones, which have intuition at its core, where you do not need a training seminar to understand the system, but rather can use your own intuition to have a grasp of how to use it. It is multifunctional. If you imagine this is at a home care, then this is a centralized platform they can also use to monitor. When a call happens, it shows which citizen has called for help, what type of alarm it is, who has handled it, you can see the different functions, address, battery levels, any relevant information that you may need. If the GPS is active and you have the consent of the elderly, you can also track them on the map. The setup is also easy. It seems familiar to the existing systems. And this is also where you can, with one press, turn and turn off the relevant functions. Data, we're talking a lot about data at this moment. But from our research in the different institutions, data is not really being utilized at this moment. Because in order to have an insight of what data your operation is receiving, you have to contact a system specialist, a super user, you have to filter through the data, you have to find it. But making data more accessible, we hope to stimulate organizations to utilize this data to optimize the care. And the way we do that is, again, with a nice overview, with 
expected functionalities of the 21st century. So we've created an ecosystem, a device for the elderly, tools for the caregivers and the administration. But in fact, what you're looking at here is a platform. We are having a huge innovational boom at this moment. Therefore, we also feel it is important that technologies are open. Open in the sense that companies need to come together to alleviate the challenge we're about to enter. Where devices should be able to communicate with each other. Where we utilize the different technologies that are not only existing at this moment, but will be developed within the near future. It is also a message from us as a company to the companies that may be watching this stream today or here in the audience that we invite you to let's have a dialogue about the future of welfare technology. Let us see how we can together work to increase the care for our elderly citizens. And when I'm saying that we have developed a platform, what we are now exploring is to go back to some of the roots of human civilization. Before we had professional healthcare, back when we were living in tribes, when we were heavily dependent upon our families, this platform has the potential to start bridging the gap. We're looking between the relatives of the elderly and professional care, providing also the much needed social care. It is still an early stage concept, so I will not be going in depth with it, but it is a thought that I would like to leave you with. We believe that the future for elder care is one where the elderly is covered from all aspects, both from the social standpoints, but also the technological. My name is Daniel Logan. I'm from Sarita Care Tech. I'd like to thank you for your attention. I'm looking forward to your questions. So, questions? Yeah. Well, Daniel, I think it's a very interesting product that you have. I mm -hmm. have uh, two questions. Uh, one, do we as a company have the size to handle big customers uh, from the municipalities? And two, are you ready to go into public tender process in the Scandinavian countries? Thank you for your question, Ivan. Uh, yes, is the short answer. The longer answer is... Um, we have uh, geared up towards a mass scale implementation through strategic partners. So we have, of course, already settled uh, agreements with distributors uh, that have a lot of experience in the field, that already have the necessary infrastructure, both in terms of service, of installation, to able to be implementing the technology. And they also have experience uh, with public tenders. That is their whole business model. That is also why we are now, as we're entering into market, starting to bid on public tenders in Denmark to begin with, but we're naturally also looking through to Scandinavian markets and international markets. Other questions? Yeah, Martin? Um, I'd just like to know, is the product being tested or in, in your services in Denmark at the moment? References? Yes, our core design philosophy, something we found out a couple of years ago was to develop a right product for the market that is being accepted by the market, you have to develop it with the market. So throughout our entire development, we have been doing what we call co-creation and we have developed it to begin with within nursing homes because nursing homes have been excellent institutions where you have parallel technologies and you have a safety net. So as you develop a new technology and it needs to be refined and reiterated, you always have uh, a playground, so to speak, where you can uh, do so in safe confines. So right now we're also having a big user case in uh, Aarhus Friplayem. I actually do have a uh, one and a half minute video. I don't know if we have the time for it. You have four minutes left. Four minutes? Would you like to see? It is without subtitles, unfortunately. Um, it is in Danish, but we can give a little recap afterwards. I hope if I click enter.
and I click, what do I click? Uh, oh, maybe we need to end this first. Getting close on time. No. All right. Unfortunately, no video, but uh, I can send you a link. It's uh, we were also in the news uh, previous week on the TV two, where they actually go in and they see our pilot that we're. T testing now at all speed play M. you see the elderly interacting with the device their comments um, I'll be willing to provide that in the in the presentation afterwards thank you just uh, I'm sure Daniel will are willing to send me the files so I'll upload it to our website modulefit.org so all those live streaming I'll, uh, I'll put it on our website tomorrow as soon as I get it from Daniel so you'll have the opportunity to actually see the video thank you very much thank you